clarification, can we indicate which board member's West Region seat she's filling? Perhaps if it's uh, Miguel Hernandez or Brenda Duarte, because they're the West Region that had just been released. So we can say that this West Region of this seat is vacant, and Capricia would be eligible to, to fill it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick one of those two. Right. Can we order? order? With whichever one you want. I'm, I'm, I'm still, still consumed. Consumed. I just heard the following folks, if, if I wouldn't want to add again, that's the chair to clarify. This is a special meeting. The special meetings are usually called when there's something that's really, really an emergency to get done. Mm -hmm. And so that, in terms of respect for the community, you would like to have an election done at a regular general meeting, not at a special meeting, because not everybody can make the special meeting. Whereas you already know that the regular meeting, people that regularly come will come at that point. It has nothing to do with the candidates. I'm just saying. To be fair to everyone, special meetings are supposed to be for emergency situations. I can't see where this is an emergency. We have a quorum. To so be fair, Mr. Pacheco. I'm Mr. just saying, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm asking you. for a Thank recognition. You. But I will state that Ms. Capricia was invited to the general mm -hmm. board meeting three months ago. There was no quorum, and we didn't get to, that was one. And then prior to that, mm -hmm. there was issues on the agenda that were moved ahead of the candidates to fill the position. So Ms. Capricia, I believe this is your third time, and there was two general board meetings that she attended that we weren't able to, to fill the agenda. But again, I'm not personalized, it's not a personal situation. What right. I'm talking about is, is whether the, we're supposed to be doing this at a special meeting, or we should be doing this at a regular general meeting of the board. Thank you, That's Mr. Pacheco. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, Mr. Pacheco has a valid point, but whatever it is, not written in concrete, okay? So it's up to the discretion of the of the president to move it one way or the other. I think she's read the bylaws, and so I don't want you to be reading in the bylaws what's not under in black and white. You use the word usually. Take the word usually out. Okay. The word, and I have the chair. chair. I would ask the chair to. Fine. I would ask the chair to please ask the colleague not to try to, to tell me. Yes. I asked the chair okay. for I said the, uh, the, the director that made the statement. Okay. Thank you. Well, can, can we address? Okay, so what you're saying is that Mr. Pacheco to okay. be. We're involving semantics here. Okay. I chose yeah, the word to this and again, that again. alone. Thank you so much. Okay, General Public. Anybody else on the board? Please don't go. No. Get better. <laughs> 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 okay. Too late. Have a good one. Yoli Garcia. Yoli Garcia. My further comment in regards to this, now that I hear Mr. Pacheco talking, I would like to say that as a regular stakeholder that goes to the meetings, um, I think you guys should move forward with filling vacancies. Um, it is urgent that you, the board fill vacancies because the elections are coming up soon. We're not exactly sure when, but if you keep on putting it off, you're going to run into that time period where you can no longer fill vacancies because elections are just and not going that's not fair to her. Yeah. And that is an emergency. Okay, excuse me. So I do, I do believe that it is of time to the essence here because elections may be in March. So as of 90 days prior to the election, they do freeze the election. We can't fill any vacancies. So I, I would like to take this opportunity. And it's not something that I just thought of, oh, this is a special meeting for this. This has actually been going on for a few months. And we didn't have, we have an established form. So I think it's a good opportunity to move forward. Uh, I do agree with Mr. Pacheco's uh, logical basis for his decision. I mean, this, this kind of business or conducting of this specific business should be done at a general board meeting. But I'd like the board to understand that this has been advised for at least two or three consecutive general board meetings, which we're all aware of because it's been on the agenda. And more so, whether it happens at a general board meeting or a special board meeting this evening, the candidate or the vacancy has already received their position. So it's not like we're doing something uh, without anybody knowing. I Meaning if it happened at a general board meeting or even today, the same candidate with the same amount of result will still be seated. We're not taking anyone from the stakeholder or from the community. And that could probably be completed at the next general board meeting. Right on. Thank you. Okay, so moving forward, if there's no further discussion, I'd like to take the vote to um, have the motion come on order. Mr. Johnson. All in favor of uh, okay, I just have a question. Which seat was she filling, Brenda or Miguel? Miguel. Miguel. Okay. Yeah, Miguel is the first one up yeah. in terms of determination. Ms. Port's seat, so we'll fill his first. Uh, all in favor of Compresha replacing Miguel 
Hernandez at the West Area Representative, signify by raise your hand. Opposed? Abstention. Uh, call that um, vote will be passes with one abstention. Williams first. 
and Francisco will be second in line. Tom Williams is originally an ordinary representative. Yeah, we have two. Oh, that's right. You're right. right. He won't represent. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so Tom Williams was in order, uh, yes. the yeah, replacement would be Tom Williams in that order. Mm -hmm. um, so that's for the North area to represent Mr. Tom Williams. Andy, would you like to mm -hmm. talk about yourself for a couple minutes and tell um, us why you're interested? Well, I think I know everyone. And <laughs> they know me, so. She did that, no, I know that. Don't forget to <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Andy, and I've been doing work in the community. Well, I've lived in the community for over 30 years. My family has businesses here. I've started a lot of projects in El Serena, including the farmer's market for a couple years. And um, I've been part of the arts and culture community for the last four years. I was in the board for two or three years previously, and and she said, okay. I'll be back like Arnold. Okay, so, <laughs> so here's what we have. Um, okay. Yes. Yolanda? Yeah, I decided. Okay, <laughs> Yoli, for, which, for okay. which region? Um. Well, my properties are in the east region. But right now, I mean, that's where I pray. I think we only have one. one so that's, that's where I pray with it. We live. But right now, I'm temporarily staying in the West region. Okay, so we have West region. We have Brenda Morales. So you can take over her. Now we're 
going to North Region. Sure. So, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> North Region, for the record, we will be filling the seat of Tom um, Williams. So, I believe at this point, uh, I mean, she, Angie already gave her background a little, little speech, so I believe you should move forward with a vote. Okay. Okay. All in favor of filling the vacancy of North Region member Tom Williams with with Signify by raising your hands. Yes. And new members can vote. And the next thing is two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Opposed? We're voting. We're not we're voting now. Right. Okay. Opposed? Abstention? So this time now is going to be 1301. 
Uh, yes, thank you. And uh, I think uh, Cynthia is alluding to something which we need to clarify. Uh, there's a misrepresentation in reading the bylaws because we're not changing the composition of our board. Yes, we will have one at-large factual basis. It's Mr. Chavez right here. The next person we see, which would, like she said, which would be Mr. Aguilar, he feels the West Region representative or the North. So he becomes a North Region director. He's not no longer factual basis at large. So we don't change the composition of the board. He now changes his title because of the reference to the elections. So we still follow the bylaws. We do keep one factual basis at large, which is Mr. Chavez. And the other board seems to be took, just like we've seen, they take that seat or they now become that region director. So it would be proper to have Mr. Aguilar seated uh, with his, how many votes did he get? 68. 68 votes. Okay, and I do understand the 68 votes. Is there anyone else who? Where do you, where do you live? I'm sure, right there. My residence is uh, 2751 Street. Where is that? Well, I, 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 uh, in uh, yeah, that's where I live. So from, and this is just as a representation of our communities. If you live in the North, East, West, or South, they're very dynamic communities that are very specific to that area. So Mr. Aguilar lives in Boyle Heights. So that's South. So, so I, I'm just, I would like to open that up to discussion to the new board members. I just know that they're very distinct characteristics from each region. So Mr. Aguilar is, and let me just give you the background. The factual at large, there's only one, and those are allowed the opportunity for people who do not live in our community. Okay, so they want, and I know because I was part of the planning commission, and, and this was one of the big issues that came up. A lot of the neighborhood councils don't want factual at large, they don't want people that don't live in our community to represent the community that they don't live in. So this is a big deal right now. This is one of the hot topics. And so I would really like to open this up for discussion to, I wouldn't want to you know, have Mr. Eichler not be part of our board, but I, I also want to make sure that our stakeholders are represented on our board. So, well, sorry, can, you, can it be clarified? I'm a little confused. So they're saying that there should be one? According to our bylaws, the, the actual composition only allows for one person who doesn't live in our community. And it doesn't the, the, the title well, is factual basis at large. large. Which is one of the no, issues. The title is factual basis at large. Which Mr. Chavez, Mr. Chavez represents. Right. So then it so we wouldn't be open to a vote. From the composition, yeah. So it wouldn't to. be open to a vote, right? Well, that's what I, that's my interpretation. Of, of the bylaws and, and um, according to the composition, it's very specific as to the number. So, um, Mr. Pacheco. Okay, so the bylaw states mm -hmm. anyone who lives, works, or owns property. What's the definition? For of the work? factual basis at large. Yeah, um, so what's, so what, what's the definition of works? There, well, the factual basis at large according to Dunn are Representatives that possibly shop in the area or have a stake in the area, um, but it's very different for the north, south, east, and west region directors. They're actually residents or business property owners of the area. Or works, that's what it says. The Bible says works. Works. Do you work in the area, Mr. Aguilar? Huh? Do you work in the area that I know? Any of the region? Back in the day, I used to. I'm a volunteer. Right now, I'm not working. I'm disabled, so I don't hate to say that. But it's just... Did you ever sit on the vote next to right now? Let me, let me go down the yeah, line with you, Sampian. So, so you don't work, live? Well, right you now, I'm not working. Right now, I'm not working, work, so I'm disabled, so I'm not, I'm not working right now. But so, live? What was your question? No, sorry. no I, just, I just want to make sure that he doesn't work, live, or own property in the Okay. My question was works. But what's the definition of work? If I I mean, I'm asking this. If, right. if does it mean that I have to actually earn a dollar when it says works? Is that what it, is that what this means? Uh, or, or if I work, like let's say I volunteer at a center, community center, I'm working there, but I mean, I get a dollar. I I think it's very so nebulous it what works it. means. Uh, Mr. Uh, I'd like the directors to. I'd like to direct us to understand that we're not basing our decision on whether Mr. Aguilar is a factual basis stakeholder at large. We have to determine, according to the bylaws, whether he was the next candidate in any other region. That's all that's we have to follow. Yeah, I think we go through each of the regions.
Well, if, listen, I, I'm not I'm just any other region. I'm going to read specific because I'm in well, the well, well, region. region. No, I want this in because it's not just a region. I want to read the whole thing. <laughs> I think that, um, and because I think it, it's not region. That's what I want you guys to understand. You guys are going to well, well, the region. Well, I just included Valley 32. Factual data is not valid. They didn't read, but they didn't find it. He has the floor. They didn't even have the zip code to stay. Where did you put that? My application was accepted on a factual basis. I understand it, but what's the zip code in Bohai? Where is this going to be? No. That is the way he ran as a candidate. We already have that seat field here, so we're not changing the composition of their board. We're still gonna have four in each region, five at large. One of those five is Mr. Chavez. But what the bylaws indicate is, if there are no losing candidates from the same region, the board may nominate from a top runner-up candidate from any other category. That's, That's what it says. And he is a top runner-up, as she's verified, from any other category, region or at large. Then you go to the at-large specification, and it says at-large, the category that he follows is a factual basis. So him as a candidate ran under at-large factual basis, but the category he ran in qualifies him to be a candidate. No matter how the board says he's factual basis, he lives over there, he was over here, the city clerk already verified his election process. All we have to do is accommodate the bylaws That's and allow Mr. Adegar to fill the seat. As a factual, I'd like to get no, the it's not. I'd he's like filling it as a south region. Thank you. So now he's not factual basis at-large. Thank you, Mr. Manzano. We will, uh, I will get clarification from the city attorney. So there are still positions available, Mr. Aguilar, so. There's more than one yeah, thing. I don't think, I don't think. Because okay, hold on, be hold on. Thing is, I, mean, do that. I don't think you need yes. a position. If you're going to do that, then I'd ask the other four stakeholders that you submit today to be released because he comes before that. My, my application is. Yes. You know, if you're going to do that, then you accept it. The stakeholders can submit it to be released. I was placed on the ballot. The difference is that they live in the 9 0 there's no difference. He ran as a candidate. You know, I ran make that a motion and I'll second it. Make it as a I make it as an I make objection up the chair's decision. Yes, exactly. We're gonna we're gonna uh, object the the chair's ruling. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we follow the bylaws and we see Jose Aguilar as a as a regional candidate. I thought and I second the motion. I thought we could make motions unless they're on the It is on the agenda. The, uh, it is on the agenda. We're putting the vacancy. We're talking about vacancy. Yeah, we're talking about that. We're talking about vacancy. The motion agenda. has to be on the on the ballot, no? No, no, no. On it's, the, it's been. Why is it? So why? Because, it, because it's okay, been run at qualification. We were already told that. We it. are going to. Right so the last one that I tried to put a motion on, it was, it was on the, the discussion of the same thing, and it, wasn't it was a discussion of the issue. So the issue is now. the issue right now is I think like you said, if if the board feels that someone that lives in Boyle Heights will actively represent communities in the 9-0 specifically to those regions. That is the question at this point. I think that as a board, we have to decide. Madam Chair, there's a yes. motion on the board. So would that unlegitimize my factual basis? There's a motion on the board. 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 The point of order here is that I live in 9003 tree. Okay? Second, Mr. Aguilar, was a member of the previous board. Does he met the non thresholds for being seated on the LA 32 Neighborhood Council? We need to respect precedent, the prior practice and precedent that was set in the previous board. Okay? I would, I would move, and I would second the motion, or third, and now it's a motion for Chuck Lauer, second to seat Mr. Aguilar in lieu of determination from Dunn to affirm the position or to say that we are out of bounds and, and, and quit seating him on the board. Wait a minute, that's not, that's that's not what I say. No, 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 I'm not going to say it. So let's, let's do the first motion so we can have clarify the motion, Anthony. So that you want to have it in my head, submit the motion or make the motion that can you, that But we, it has to be clarified. Can you, can that you we acknowledge, update the motion? That we acknowledge the candidate, Jose Aguilar, as a regional 
candidate when we fill in, uh, fill in the vacancy process. And the second, it was motion, seconded by okay, the Okay, so that's what I said. Okay, okay. 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 correct. Okay. All right. Now we can have discussion on the matter. I heard something else. Yes, discussion. Uh, kind of in a, yeah. a court order. Please oh, go, right. please go this way. I mean, go, go more so that we can okay. understand the line. So, 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 so we'll start here, yeah. and we'll go around. Okay. Um, not knowing all the process and the steps and new, 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 but uh, an outside perspective, and if, especially if it's in the bylaws, we can't skew from them. And, uh, an outside perspective can uh, be a refreshing one, and if his intentions are true, can benefit us. That way we can really focus on the community, because regardless whether we live in 3-3, three, 3-2, three, three, we're still Los Angeles. And uh, whether or not uh, the improvement, all our intentions here are for the community, whether it's a few miles down the road or right here. So I believe uh, I will second these guys. It's already been seconded, so it's okay. We're just still waiting for discussion. Yes. Thank you. I, I have a, um, a comment. I, I, would, um, I would recommend following the bylaws, although as a new committee member, I also recommend that the new committee members, before we're able to make a decision based on what the bylaw says or doesn't say, that we're actually provided with a copy of the bylaw so we can read it and interpret it for ourselves. Um, otherwise, we're just, um, you know, I can approve or disapprove, but I'm just guessing at this point with, without, any, without, without the bylaws themselves. And knowing the specific procedure that's to be followed. Um, Please don't um, vote on anything. I'll be right back. Can I have three issues here? One is he, he was on our board, okay? He did run and he did get uh, quite a large number of voters voting him in. He's quite popular, okay? Uh, it just didn't turn out uh, the luck of the draw for him to get elected at that time. I agree with it with Anthony and Cynthia, not because I know them or don't know them or I agree, like them or not, same thing with him. It has nothing to do with how I may feel about him, uh, okay? Uh, what I would, uh, but I think that whatever he qualified to be on the board back then and where he finds himself today, I'd like to ask him to clarify how does he qualify today because as people move, say he had moved to Kansas, you know, there's no way he's going to run here. He's not anything to do with here and all of that. 